Hey, I was looking for you. Didn't think I'd find you down by the river. That's an awful lot of blood on your cloak. I thought soaking it in the water would help get it out. I don't know. That fight went on for a while. And blood doesn't come out so easily, even if you start washing it right away. If you ask me, it's more trouble than it's worth. You have another one, right? I do, but I'd still like to use this one if I can. <sighs> Something wrong? Hmm? Oh, sorry. It's just, you reminded me of Citri, of your mother, back when we first met. How so? There was this one time when she was trying really hard to get some stains out of a handkerchief. She had your same quiet composure and everything, and when I asked her if she had another one, you know what she told me? She just turned and said, if I can still use this one, I'd rather not throw it away. Well, that's not exactly the same. Maybe not. But I still see so much of her in you. When I was first getting to know her, I never saw her laugh or cry. Just like someone else I could mention. You know, you never really used to talk about her, but you've been doing it a lot lately. Why is that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm feeling a little regret for dragging you into the mercenary life. You've never had a place to call home, and you don't have any friends your age. And it's been one bloody battle after another since this war broke out. If she were still alive, your life would be entirely different. You'd be with her, and things would be peaceful. I don't regret my life here with you. I might not have a home or friends, but you've always been there for me. Living by the sword suits me just fine, and I've had no shortage of allies. So... You're right. There's no cause for regrets. You really are just like her, though. You know that? <laughs>